Hi, I'm Ben Spammer from macrobeat.co.uk. Well, I guess we all can't wait for it to be Friday evening after the kind of week we had. But uh, today, I think we talk about a few other things, rather like straight into the market. I don't think economic slides you know, mean very much right now, given uh, what we know about the knock-on effect economically from the virus. So any sort of data we see right now, it's not going to be staying that way anyway. So I don't think we even have to bother. Uh, to be honest, we talked a lot about uh, uh, complacency in the U.S. equity market in the last many sessions we had. And uh, I think, sadly, I mean, this week just shows the sort of complacency that we had. The downside of it all is that we now had to unwind a lot uh, within a week, which obviously creates a lot of panic out in the market. I think it's something that would have been or should have been you know, unwinding ever since the end of January, once we knew China is going into lockdown, the market would have just gently started to correct itself, pricing the correct risk. We would have probably grinded down about the same amount, but slowly over the last few weeks, which definitely wouldn't have left any sort of panic uh, uh, mood out there. But here we are. We're now even in the territory where we expect three uh, cuts by the Fed by the uh, end of the year which is obviously something that is more to do with the panic uh, uh, in the fixed income markets. They sort of catching up with the equity market, and I think it's probably uh, running a little bit ahead of themselves. They're rather lagging and leading right now. Uh, the only problem I think is that a Fed cut might not do the trick. Uh, you know, rate cut is not what sort of helps the current situation. Maybe we have a short term sort of, you know, confidence boost. But overall, what we really do need is targeted fiscal stimulus, stimulus that really supports the areas that will be uh, hit most by the virus. And the second thing is really a vaccine. And, and so this time, maybe central banks come towards the end of the road in terms of pumping ever more money in or, or cutting rates. Uh, the first slide I want to look at is obviously the Dow Jones. Um, I sort of tried to mark the era where we currently are, given I had to send out the slides this morning. So we obviously around where the arrow is now. So what we see here is really the, the catch up with uh, the story, really. I mean, the complacency to make new all time highs during the time when the second largest economy in the world uh, is shutting its doors is just just unthinkable. And it's probably really the result about the goldfish market and the algal market not really understanding what's going on out there. Now it's really the problem now is that actually the virus is only just now coming into Europe and obviously into the US as well at some point in time. And so what we've done so far is really only taking stock of an adjustment what's uh, been happening in China. So I fear that we might by far not having seen the lows at this point. Maybe short term, some bounce, whatever, yes, possible. The overall story definitely has legs to go. On the next slide, we have the dollar index. The dollar index uh, started uh, uh, to top out. We made another, or basically we made a new high versus the 2019 high, the same silly move that we have seen in the equity market. And now finally, I think the penny drops. And so does the dollar, uh, funny enough. And I think this one has more legs to go as well, especially now talking about the Fed probably having to cut uh, uh, rates very soon, at least the first cut to calm down markets. Whether this will be an intermediate cut, uh, I don't know, because that would really send a, a lot of panic out there. So they may wait for the next meeting. On the next slide, this is uh, dollar yen. Dolly Yen had a sort of funny move up as well in the same time when we had this uh, uh, making new highs in the equity market, which now starts to look as a sort of false move. We're just coming to the big sort of support around 10850, 10880. It seems the BOJ was helping along uh, quite nicely that the dollar is not falling off a cliff, but there's definitely more pressure on the downside to come. Last but not least, in gold, gold. Uh, has been selling off, which I think is a bit of a surprise, probably more to do with people in the equity market been buying long golds as a hedge against equities. And now as the equities are getting sold, the hedges are getting sold. So once this is sorted out, I think gold has a, has a very sharp move higher. Uh, this is really it from me. Not enough time as usual, but I wish you a lovely weekend and see you next week. Thanks very much.